Eob chapter 10. My being has grown weary of life. I let loose my complaint. I speak in the bitterness of my being. I say to Eloah, do not declare me wrong. Show me why you strive with me. Is it good to you that you should crush, that you should despise the work of your hands, and shine on the counsel of the wrong? Do you have eyes of flesh? Do you see as man sees? Are your days like the days of a mortal man? Are your years like the days of the mighty men? that you should seek for my crookedness and search out my sin. For you know that I am not wrong, and there is no one to deliver from your hand. Your hand have made me and shaped me together all around, yet you destroy me. Remember, Please that you have made me like clay, and would you turn me into dust again? Did you not pour me out like milk, and curdle me like cheese? Skin and flesh you put on me, and wove me with bones and sinews. Life and loving commitment you have bestowed upon me, and your visitation has preserved my ruach, my spirit. And these you have laid up in your heart. I know that this was with you. If I sin, then you watch me, and let no crookedness of mine go unpunished. If I am wrong, woe to me. And if I am righteous, I would not lift up my head filled with shame and seeing my grief. If I lift it up high, you hunt me as a lion, and again you would show yourself marvelous against me. You renew your witness against me and increase your vexation toward me. Changes and a host are with me. So, why have you brought me forth from the womb? Oh, that I had perished, and no eye had seen me. I should have been as though I had not been, brought from the womb to the burial site. Are not my days few? Then cease. Leave me alone so that I might brighten up a little before I go and not return to the land of darkness and the shadow of death, a land as dark as darkness itself, as the shadow of death without any order, whose light is as darkness. Eob chapter 11. And so far the Namanites answered and said, Should a multitude of words go unanswered, and should a man of lips be declared right, should your babbling silence men, and should you mock and no one make you ashamed? Since you have said, My discourse is flawless, and I have been clean in your eyes, but if only Eloah would speak, and open his lips against you, and show you the secrets of wisdom. Doubling your ability, know then that Eloah forgets some of your crookedness for you. Would you find out Eloah by searching or, or search out the end of the Almighty? Is It is higher than the heavens. What would you do, deeper than Sheol? What would you know? Their measure is longer than the earth and broader than the sea. If he passes through and shuts up and gathers, then who does reserve it? 
reverse it. For he knows false men. He, when he sees wickedness, does he not consider it? But a senseless man takes heart when a wild donkey's colt is born a man. If you would prepare your heart and stretch out your hands towards him, if wickedness were in your hand, put it far away from you, and do not let perverseness dwell in your tents. Then indeed you shall lift your face without spot, and you shall stand firm and not be afraid, because you would, would forget sorrow and remember it as waters that have passed away. And your life would be brighter than noon, and would soar upward, you would be like the morning, and you shall trust, because there is expectancy, and when you have searched, you shall lie down in safety, and you shall rest, and no one sh would make you afraid, and many shall seek your favor. But the eyes of the wrong are consumed, and they shall not escape, and their expectancy is in the breathing out of life. Job chapter 12, and Job answered and said, Truly, you are the people, and wisdom would die with you. But I, like you, have a heart too. I am not less than you, and who does not know such as these? I have become a laughingstock to my friends, one who has called on Eloah, and he answered him, A laughingstock is the righteous, the perfect one. A lamp is despised in the thought of one who is at ease. Prepare for those whose feet slip. The tents of robbers are at peace, and those who provoke El are complacent to him who brings Eloah into his hand. And now ask the beasts that they teach you, and the birds of the heaven that they declare to you, or speak to the earth, and it teaches you, and the fish of the sea inform you, who among all these does not know that the hand of Yahweh has done this? In those whose hands is the life of all that live and breathe of mankind. Does the ear not try words, and the mouth taste food for itself? With the aged is wisdom, and understanding with length of days. With him are wisdom and might. He has counsel and understanding. Look, he breaks down and is not rebuilt. If he imprisons a man, there is no release. Look, he withholds the waters, and they dry up. And he sends them out, and they overwhelm the earth. With him are strength and ability. The misled and the misleader are his. He leads counselors away stripped, and makes judge go mad. He loosens the bonds of sovereigns, and binds a girdle on their loins, who leads away priests as a spoil, and overthrows the mighty, turning aside the lip of the trusted ones, and takes away the discernment of the elders pouring scorn on nobles, and loosens the girdle of the strong, revealing deep matters out of the darkness, and he brings the shadow of death to light, making nations great, 
and he destroys them, spreading out the nations, and he leads them out, turning aside the heart of the chiefs of the people of the earth, and he makes them wonder in a pathless waste. They grope in darkness, having no light, and he makes them stagger like a drunkard. Eob chapter 13 Look, my eyes have seen it all. My ear has heard and understood it. What you know, I know too. I am not less than you, but I would speak to the Almighty, and I delight to reason with El. But you smear with falsehood, worthless hearers, all of you. If you would only be silent, then it would be your wisdom. Please hear my reasoning and listen to the pleadings of my lips. Would you speak perversely for El and speak deceit for him? Would you be partial toward him? Would you plead for El? Would it be well when he searches you out? Or could you deceive him as one deceives a man? He would certainly reprove you if you had secretly showed partiality. Should not his excellence make you afraid? and the dread of him fall upon you. Your weighty sayings are proverbs of ashes. Your shields are shields of clay. Be silent before me, and let me speak, and let whatever comes upon me. Why do I take my flesh in my teeth, and I put my life in my hands? Though he kills me, in him I expect, but I show my ways to be right before him. He also is my shua, my deliverance, for a defiled one does not come before him. Listen closely to my words, and with your ears to what I say. Look. Please, I have prepared my case. I know that I am in the right. Who is he who would strive with me? For when I would keep silent and die. Only two matters do not do to me. Then I am not hidden from your face. Withdraw your hand far from me and let not dread of you make me afraid. Then call, and let me answer, or let me speak, and you reply to me. How many are my crookednesses and sins? Let me know my transgression and my sin. Why do you hide your face and reason, reckon me as your enemy. Would you frighten a leaf driven to, to and fro, and would you pursue dry stubble? For you write bitter charges against me, and make me inherit the crookedness of my youth, and put my feet in the stocks and look closely to all my paths. You set a limit for the soles of my feet, and he, like that which is rotten, wastes away as a garment that is moth-eaten. Eob chapter 14 Man born of women is of few days and term oil filled. He comes forth like a flower and withers. He flees like a shadow and does not continue. Yet on such a one, you open your eyes and bring me to right ruling with yourself. 
who brings the clean out of the unclean? No one. Since his days are decided, the number of his new moons is with you. You have made his laws, and he does not pass over. Look away from him and let him rest till, like a hired man, he enjoys his day. For there is expectancy for a tree. It is cut down that it does not sprout again and that its tender branch does not cease. Through its root grows old in the earth, and its stump dies in the ground. At the scent of water it buds and brings forth foliage like a plant, but man dies and is powerless and man expires, and where is he? Water disappears from the sea, and a river dries up, and it is parched. And man shall lie down and not rise, till the heavens are no more. They awake not, nor are aroused from their sleep. If only you would hide me, in Sheol, conceal me until your wrath turns away. Set for me a law, and remember me. If a man dies, would he live again? All the days of my struggle to wait, till my changes come. You would call, and I would answer you. And you have yearned for the work of your hands. For now you count my steps. Do you not watch over my sin? My transgression is sealing, sealed up in a bag, and you cover over my crookedness. But a falling mountain crumbles away, and a rock is moved from its place as water wears away stone. Its outpouring washes away the soil of the earth, so you have destroyed the expectancy of man. You overpower him forever, and he is gone. His face changes, and you send him away. His sons come to esteem, and he does not know it, and they are brought low, and he does not perceive it. He feels only the pain of his flesh, and he mourns over himself. Eob chapter 15 And Eliphaz the Temanite answered him, and said, would a wise man answer with vain knowledge, or fill his belly with the east wind? Would he reason with an useless talk, or by speeches, that which do not profit? Indeed, you do away with reverence, and withhold your prayers before El. For your crookedness teaches your mouth what to say, and you choose the tongue to be crafty. Not I, but your own mouth condemns you, and your own lips witness against you. Were you the first one born, or were you made before the hills? And you have heard the secret counsel of Eloah. And do not limit wisdom to yourself. What do you know that we do not know, understand, and is not within us? Both the gray-haired and the aged are among us, much older than your father. Are the comforts of El not enough for you, 
and a word that dwell, deals gently with you. What have you taken to heart, and why do your eyes flash? That you should turn your spirit against El, and let such words go out from your mouth. What is man, that he should be clean, and one born of wisdom, that he should be righteous? Look, he puts no trust in his set-apart ones, and the heavens are not clean in his eyes. How much less one who is loathsome and corrupt, drinking and unrighteousness like water. Let me show you. Hear me, and this is I have seen and declared, which the wise declare and have not hidden from their fathers. To them alone the land was given, and no stranger passed over into their midst. All the days of the wrong one is pain paining him, and a few years have been stored up for the ruthless. A frightening sound is in his ears. In peace a destroyer comes to him. He believes not to return from the darkness, and he is reserved for the sword. He wonders about for food. There is, where is it? And he knows that a day of darkness is prepared for him. Distress and pain frighten him. They overwhelm him like a sovereign ready to, for attack, because he has stretched out his hand against El, the mighty axe, against the Almighty. He runs against him defiantly with thick bossed shields, for he has covered the face with his fatness, and he has put layers of fat on his loins. But he dwells in ruined cities and houses which no one lives in, which have been ready to become heaps. He shall not be rich, and his wealth shall not rise, and his possession shall not overspread the earth. He does not turn away from darkness. The flame dries up his branches, and he turns aside by the breath of his mouth. Let him not trust in falsehood, deceiving himself, for falsehood is his reward. Before his day it is accomplished, and his branch shall not be green. He shakes off his unripe grapes like a vine, and throws off his blossoms like an olive tree, for the company of the defiled ones is barren, and the fire consumes the tents of bribery. They conceive trouble, and bring forth wickedness, even their womb prepares deception. Job chapter 16 And Job answered Eliphaz, and said, I have heard many matters like these. All of you are com comforters of trouble. Is the, there an end to words of wind? Or what provokes you that you answer? I might also speak like you. If you were in my place, I might heap up words against you and shake my head at you. I might strengthen you by my mouth, and my moving lips might bring relief. If I speak, my pain is not revealed, and if I refrain, does it leave me? But now he has wearied me. You have stunned all my company, and you have plucked me, 
and it is a witness, and my failure rises up against me, it bears witness to my face. He has torn in, my, in his wrath, and he hates me. He has gnashed at me with his teeth. My adversary sharpens his eyes upon me. They open wide their mouths at me. In scorn they have stricken my cheeks. They mass themselves against me. L has handed me over to their perverses and cast me out into the hand of the wrong. I was at ease, but he broke me, and he took me by the neck, and shattered me, and he has set me up for his target. His archers surround me. He splits my kidneys in two and does not spare. He pours out my bile on the ground. He made a breach in me, breach upon breach. He runs upon me like a mighty man. I sewed sackcloth over my skin and laid my horn in the dust. My face is reddened from weeping, and my eyelid is the shadow of death. Though no violence was in my hand, and my prayers sincere, O oh earth, do not cover my blood, and let my cry have no resting place. See, even now my witness is in the heavens, and my f defender is on high. My friends, are they that scorn me? My eyes pour out tears to Eloah. Oh, that one might plead for a man with Eloah as a man with his neighbor. When a few years are past, then I shall go the way of no return. Job chapter 17. My spirit has been broken. My days have been extinguished. Burial sites are for me. Truly mockeries are with me and my eyes rest on their insults. Please lay down a pledge for me with yourself. Who would strike hands with me? For you have hidden their heart for understanding, therefore you do not exalt them. He who denounces friends for a snare, even the eyes of his children, shall fail. But he has made me a byword of the people, whereas in former times I was as a drum." And from sorrow my eye has grown dim, and all my members are like shadows. Upright ones are astonished at this, and the innocent stirs himself up against the defiled one. And the righteous holds to his way, and he who has clean hands becomes stronger and stronger. But please, come back again, all of you, for I do not find a wise one among you. My days have passed by. My plans have been broken off the desire of my heart. They would turn night into day, saying that light is near, in the presence of darkness. If I wait, Sheol is my house. I shall make my bed in darkness. I shall say to corruption, You are my father. To the worm, you are my sister. Where then is my expectancy? As for my expectancy, would see it. Who would see it? Would it sink down to Sheol? 
would we go together, go down into the dust? Eob chapter 18. And Bildad the Shuhite answered and said, When do you put an end to words? Understand and let us then talk. Why should we be reckoned as beasts, as stupid in your eyes? You who tear yourself to pieces in displeasure, would the earth be forsaken for your sake, or the rock move from its place? Indeed, the light of the wrong going goes out, and the flame of his fire does not shine. The light shall be dark in his tents, and his lamp beside him is put out. The steps of his strength are impeded, and his own counsel overthrows him. For he is sent into a net by his own feet, and he walks on a pitfall. A net seizes his heels, a snare prevails over him, a noose is hidden on the ground for him, a trap for him in his pass. Alarms frighten him on all sides and chase him at his heels. His strength is starved and calamity is ready at his side. It devours parts of his skin and firstborn of death devours his parts. He is torn from the shelter of his tent and they parade him before the sovereign of alarms. In his tent dwells that which is none of his. Brimstone is scattered on his house. His roots below dry up and his branches are cut off. Remembrance of him perishes from the earth and he has no name on the street that they tr thrust him from the light of darkness into darkness and chase him out of the world. He leaves no offspring or descendants among his people, nor any survivor in his dwelling. Those in the west are astonished at his day, as those in the east are frightened. Indeed, such are d the dwelling of the perverse, and this is the place of him who does not know El. Job chapter 19. And Job answered and said, How long would you grieve my life and crush me with your words? These ten times you have insulted me. Shamelessly you have attacked me. Even if I have truly gone astray, my strings remain with me. If indeed you would exalt yourself above me and plead against me my reproach, know then that Eloah has overthrown me and has surrounded me with his net. See, I cry violence, but I am not heard. I cry aloud, but there is no right ruling. He has fenced up my ways, and I pass not over, and he has placed darkness in my paths. He has stripped me of my esteem and taken the crown from my head. He breaks me down on every side, and I am gone and uproots my expectancy like a tree. And he kindled with his wrath against me, and he counts me as one of his enemies. His company have come together, and they cast up their way against me, and encamp all around my tent. He has removed my brothers far away from me, and my friends are completely estranged from me. My near ones have fallen away, and my close friends have forgotten me. The guests in my house and my female servants 
reckon me for a stranger, and I am a foreigner in their eyes. I have called my servant, but he gives no answer. I have to beg him with my mouth. My spirit is strange to my wife, and my loving commitment is to the children of my own body. Even young children have scorned me. I arise, and they speak against me. All my intimate friends loathe me, and those who I love have turned against me. My bone clings to my skin and my flesh, and I have escaped by the skin of my teeth. Show favor to me. Show favor to me. Oh, you, my friends, for the land of Eloah has struck me. Why do you persecute me like El does, and are not satisfied with my flesh? Oh, that my words were written down, and that they were inscribed in a book, engraved on a rock with an iron pen, and lead forever. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and as the last shall rise over the dust, and after my skin has been struck off, then in my flesh I shall see Eloi, whom I myself shall see on my side, and not a stranger. My kidneys have failed within me. If you say, Why do we persecute him, seeing the root of the matter has been found in me? Fear the sword yourself, for wrath brings the punishment of the sword, so that you know there is a judgment.